Hi guys, you're now here back at Dexter's World Junior Channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I will be doing another interesting video today as I was really touched and encouraged by your support and comments on my last video. I decided to assemble a Guppy Aquarium for you guys. I did not actually spend anything to be able to gather the materials. I use whatever is available at home and in our pet store. Let us begin by filling up this 12 by 15 by 8 aquarium with solely white pebbles or sand to give the impression of space so that your aquarium will look bigger and more natural than Then, I will top it off with our leftover colored sand and pebbles to give some faint hue. different from my last video where I used mainly colored sand and pebbles because I wanted to make our fish jars look cooler and more attractive as each jar contained only one fish. Then we will scatter some shells and stones around as well as some decorative items which could also serve as hiding place for our fish. The bigger aquarium you have, the more accessories you can use in size and number. You don't even have to spend for them as you can just recycle some broken jars, pots, and empty bottles like this one, which I decided to innovate by filling it with blue sand while this small jar and shell decor I got from my mom's collection with her consent. with our DIY aquarium backdrop out of an old of transparent plastic folder which you can hand paint using our acrylic or whatever paint is available to produce an underwater setting. I have asked my older sister Paul here to do the job for me because she is quite good at calligraphy and some mini painting. Afterwards, Let's now proceed to our very indispensable part of our aquarium, the filtration system. No matter how nice your aquarium will look, but without a good filtration system, your fish will end up dead. A ready-made filter will cost more, so I decided to come up with my own design filter. I will be using this small plastic box as my case or bucket, where I will put inside foam which will be wrapped by a piece of net and will be filled with pebbles, stones, and shells, which will serve as our media. Then, I will insert a hole split air stone through the media, which is attached to an air pump which device will blow bubbles and at the same time create a cycle of water inside the aquarium passing through the small case or bucket as our filter. By means of this system, the dangerous ammonia produced by fish waste and rotting leftover fish food will be broken down into nitrites which will further be converted into the less toxic nitrate. This conversion process is what you call the nitrogen cycle made possible by our filtration system. Thus, with a good filter, like this one, we can become successful in maintaining our aquarium and caring for our fish. Next, I will put in some live plants. Afterwards, we will fill about 3 fourths of this tank with water, which I stored over the night.
just ready to free our great looking guppies here to their new habitat. And finally, we will plug in the aquarium pump. Then, we are now just ready to free our great looking guppies to their new habitat. And that's all for today guys. I hope you like this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for my upcoming videos. Only here at Dexter's World Junior. Bye!